No, I have not shaved today. No, I do not give any cares about it. Okay, I care a little bit. It's random snips, random snips, vlogging every week for you. Hey, snippets. So I really don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. So I really don't know why, but I've had a strange obsession with... Maybe I'll get some more that in today's vlog. We'll see. Lately, I've had a strange obsession with college football. N not just really just college football. More specifically, just Baylor football. And I really don't know why. It's just kind of come out of nowhere. But for some reason, like, it's just, like, consumed my head and it's like... Blah! <laughs> I really kind of give no cares about the world today anyway. As you can see, I'm wearing pajama pants and it's like 2 p.m. Okay, I care a little bit and I have fear of being judged on the internet, so I'm gonna go change. There, I have pants on like a normal human being now. Are you happy? So, yeah, I really don't know why this whole football thing has consumed my head. Up until 2011, really, Baylor football was nothing to talk about. Baylor was the joke of college football. It was, that team is such a Baylor, scrubby little Baylor, things like that. I don't know, other quotes that I've heard. After 2011, really, things started to kind of like, pick up. This is that real ghetto like, like, turn up, bit. Okay, I'm done. In recent years, Baylor football has been like, all the talk of like everything. Maybe not everywhere, but to me, it's been a big deal. Like last year, we were, I think our record was eight and five, and it's because we had a weird spot in the middle where we were like losing everything. This year, we are currently eight and oh, I believe, and that's the first time it's ever happened here, and everyone's going bananas. Or I guess I should say nuts, because squirrels are the big thing at Baylor. So everyone's going nuts about it. And I have taken into this whole thing of college football and I really don't know why. Okay, I had a brief moment in time where I played football myself. When I was in 6th and 7th grade, I played football and uh, I hated it. I really only did it because my mom wanted me to be in athletics and so I was just like, okay mom, whatever, fine, I'll do it. But as you guys know, when I was in 7th, I really cannot produce tangible words today. Like, it's just not gonna happen. As you guys know, when I was in seventh grade, I had brain surgery, and so luckily that was my ticket out of playing football, because after I had surgery, I wasn't allowed to play any, like, contact sports or anything, so I got out of having to be in football, basketball, all that kinds of stuff. Inside my head, I was just like, yes! My mom was kind of upset about it. I remember when I started eighth grade and I just wanted to do PE and not athletics, my mom was like, you're gonna regret this decision in a later point in your life. I've never regretted it. So, sports have not really been a big thing for me. I played varsity tennis in high school, but other than that, I haven't been a big sports person. So the whole fact that this whole Baylor football thing has gotten to me is just weird. Every week I always find myself checking the polls, checking Twitter accounts for Baylor football, checking stats, checking player status. Like, I don't know why. This is not who I am. What is college doing to me? I've gotten awfully close to you guys a lot of times already in this video, so I'm sorry. This is me trying to show that I'm petting you through the screen. Is it working? No? Okay. My favorite memory of Baylor football was last year whenever we played Kansas State. We beat them like 54 to 26 something. I don't remember exactly what the score was, but we beat them by a lot. And after we beat them, we rushed the field. And what was so cool for me is that since I was on the line at that time, I was in the very front. And so whenever we rushed the field, I was one of the like first dozen people to rush the field. I got all the football players sweat on me and there were people bleeding and I'm pretty sure someone spit on my hair. Like, it was just great. <laughs> that was such a crazy moment for me. I wish that I had been daily vlogging a year ago so that I could have documented that. That's a moment that I'll probably never forget Yet. Well, I've already kind of forgotten about it. I remember the experience of it happening. My thing for football has just like gotten super weird. Like, okay, let me show you. Why do I have this? I have no reason to need this in my life, ever. I don't know what's becoming of me. Do you guys feel the same way I do? I, I mean, about your own respective schools. You don't necessarily have to feel this way about Baylor football, but if you did, hey, let's be friends. So I'm just gonna leave you guys on that reflective thought. Why am I like this? And are you guys like this? Because if you are, I want to hear about it, because, it, like I said, it's been really fascinating me, and I want to talk about it. When, <laughs> but that's gonna be all for this week. So I will see you guys in my next video. All my social media things are in the down bar below. If you ever need to contact me for anything, I'm always available. Well, I'm always there. I like to present myself for you guys. So, ever need anything, I'm here. Unless I'm taking a test in a class. Then if you tweet me or call me, I will find where you live and probably not do anything because I'll chicken out. But I will think that I want to do something mean to you. So, don't do it. I'll see you next time, guys. Until my next video, stay awesome, guys. Bye!